Welcome to another Trend Micro How To video. My name is Jerry Hayes, and today we are going to talk about policy deployment for Apex One policy versus the integrated iProducts features. The first case we will discuss are the default iProduct policy settings. By default, iProduct settings are set to disabled. This implies iProduct agents are not installed. The very first policy deployment that enables iProduct settings will trigger an iProduct agent installation. Once the iProduct agents are installed, the policy setting changes to iProducts will simply fall back to the normal policy deployment flow. Now, here is the policy deployment flow when there are no iProduct settings in the policy that are being deployed to the Apex One server. Apex Central deploys policy to the Apex One server without iProduct settings. The Apex One server will now dispatch the policies to the iProduct server. The iProduct server will directly respond to the Apex One server successfully deployed to Apex One server if the policy doesn't have any iProduct settings. The Apex One server will send the results to Apex Central. On this next case, we'll look at what happens when the Apex One server does not have a valid iProduct license. When there is a policy containing settings to enable iProduct settings, before dispatching the policies to the iProduct servers, the Apex One server will first check to see if there are valid licenses. The iProduct license info is managed by the Apex One server. Now let's look at the policy deployment flow if there are no valid licenses for iProducts. Apex Central deploys a policy to the Apex One server with enable iProduct settings. After the Apex One server gets the policy that is deployed by Apex Central, the Apex One server will check to see if there are valid licenses for the iProduct before sending out the policy to the iProduct server. If there are no valid iProduct licenses on the Apex One server, then Apex One will respond unactivated license error code directly to Apex Central. That's it. For more how to support videos, please click the Trend Micro button to subscribe now. To keep watching, click on any of these videos. Also, for the latest in Trend Micro updates and information, don't forget to follow us on our social media accounts. Thank you for watching.